everyone and welcome back to a, um, another video and we're doing a vlog today. I think I'm going to do this today and tomorrow. Um, today's going to be just a very generic kind of day. Um, I've just put Lola down for her lunchtime nap, which, fingers crossed, fast a decent amount of time but probably will last for an hour if we're lucky um we've been awake since about six this morning which is a bit earlier than she normally gets up so i've had to shuffle her naps a little bit earlier as well um so yeah she was really really tired bless she had a breakfast she had a banana <laughs> like it's a mid-morning snack she loves bananas not like me i hate bananas um and yeah i've popped it down for a little nap now I um, I'm gonna just clear up in the kitchen a little bit. I've got some like recycling I need to sort out and just do a few bits like that. And then I'm going to um, do a few bits I need to do on the computer, make a coffee, eat a protein bar um, because I'm trying to be very very strict with what I'm eating um, for a few weeks because I just want to just kind of like slim back down a little bit. Um, and i have to be very strict with it there's no kind of getting around that for me um just to lead up to christmas and then after christmas kind of go back to doing the low carb thing but it just works for me kind of um not having to cook too much and stuff like that so like i'll just do things like the extant meal replacement thing and it, it works for me if i do it it's just that you know lockdown happened here in wales um and i was just cooking and baking a lot and it's okay like you know it was it was a coping mechanism isn't it um so yeah, I have got a can of Diet Coke because I do drink Diet Coke because I am a very tired mum. So yeah, I'll do that. I need to email my accountant and ask her, well, follow up on a couple of things that I already emailed her about the other day. Um, so there's a lot of back and forth thing going on at the moment with things like that because things are just so sort of up in the air and it's sort of deciding what's best to do and that kind of thing. Um, and then when Munch wakes up from her nap, she can have some lunch and then we will probably play for a little bit. I do really want to sort out my makeup situation and kind of change things around a little bit. Um, maybe do that. And I think if it stops raining, when she's just about ready to have her sort of late afternoon nap, which is usually a shorter nap, then I might head out um, up to the restaurant because she only will nap in the buggy if you're pushing it. It's really a pain. Um, so... I can run a few errands. I need to go um, to the pound shop. I want to look for a couple of bits. I probably won't film in the shops necessarily because obviously with a face mask you're not going to be able to hear me very clearly. But we'll try maybe. Um, and also I want to go to Superdrug and buy that vitamin C booster that was in the Nadine Bagger box. I really like the look of that box but I just know that like some of the products both the hyaluronics i've tried and don't work for me um they break me out both of them the only hyaluronic that works really well for me is the number seven one in the blue bottle is it the aqua luminous i think it's called that one um so yeah i want to pick one of those up because um i've noticed that my skin's kind of gone a little bit blotchy again and like sort of pigmentation -y bits have come out i think it's because i've been back on the pill for about six months now um so yeah because when i was pregnant i was really surprised that i didn't get any worse pigmentation but i wasn't on any birth control but i need to be on birth control because like i'm not in that situation somebody actually asked me the other day when are you gonna have another one and i was just like are you actually being serious not blooming now <laughs> Like, let me figure out how to cope like this first. I've also got a load of washing in. I'm trying to do a load of day thing. It doesn't always work. Because I, I like to do Lola separately. Um, so, yeah, I need to also fold a load of washing. So, let me go and crack on with those drops. And then I'll come back. I'm going to put the Christmas tree up tomorrow as well. So, I've started slowly doing like little Christmassy bits. I've got some Christmas candles out. That one is Christmas cookie. Um, and the one behind it is after sled sledding, sledging. I don't know that one anyway um and then i've done this little corner here my gallery wall's not finished yet it's a work in progress um but yeah i've done this little section here little section here table thing not totally finished christmas blanket yes that's my laundry that i'm gonna fold in a second um and then Lola's toys i always pick her like a few little toys to play with um and to try and sort of rotate them every day she doesn't particularly like to sit on the mat on her own but she will do it if you sit with her so it's, it's good kind of development for her so this is the munchkin woke up from her nap which was actually an hour and 20 minutes which is 
very good going for her <laughs> um well she was a better nap when she was smaller it's kind of gone a bit haywire at the moment um but that was a very very good little nap so now we're gonna go and sort out my makeup if she'll let me <laughs> or start it at least um and then we'll go and get lola bear some lunch what are you laughing at can i have that demi can i have that please you don't need it now <laughs> apparently she's going somewhere right let's go so i've got my little helper just here <laughs> um and i yeah as you can tell this whole area is a little bit of a mess so what i'm gonna do <laughs> is um we'll go section by section so for example the base products that are just in this bit i know this is a weird setup but it's because this unit was here when we moved in and we can't get rid of it and i haven't really got anywhere else to kind of do it i got rid of the other dress that we had because it was just really tatty um so yeah i am gonna sort this out so let's start with base products what i've got in here at the moment and not necessarily what i want to use i just want to change stuff up i like to do this kind of every i used to do it every week but who has that time for that now so base product wise what i've changed it up to is i've kept the cosmetic cc creams i've kept the flower beauty one i've kept the clarence true radiance one and the um maybelline version of the cosmetics it's not my fave i use it on days and i'm not really doing much i just want a bit of something i've popped this primark one in as well um so that can kind of just go here but what i would possibly like to add is revlon color stay for days that i need my makeup to last a little bit longer but that is a bit more of a i don't know i need a darker color in that as well so maybe not that um and then powders i just touch up with that rimmel one and my daily powder which is this lottie london one Lola's so managed to chuck all her toys on the floor would you like me to retrieve them? There you go, gorgeous. <laughs> she loves that shark thing. She loves everything with sharks for some reason. It's really funny. I really like sharks as well, actually. I find them fascinating. So I don't know if that's where she's got it from. But you've been a good girl. Yeah, you've been a good girl. <laughs> you're going to do smiles. Could you not maybe eat the book? That's not really what you do with books. Her hair's grown so much, hasn't it? She's got proper like, little curly hair now. It's so cute. <laughs> right, you watching what Mummy's doing then? We're sorting things out, okay? Um, I do need to put some sort of primer type product in there, however. So, let's have a look in here. Yes, this is messy, but I don't have that kind of time anymore, which is very unfortunate. Uh, 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 Primer type things. What do I fancy? I was using that Clarins one, but it's a bit of a faff to put on. I don't fancy something like really silicone-y. I just fancy something like nice, lightweight. That kind of does need using up this Arborian matte cream. Maybe I'll use that. Yeah, let's do the Arborian matte cream. Um, and I'll put the semi way one, which I do really like, actually. I'll put that one back. So we'll we'll go with that. Um, so then this Clarins Skin Detox thing. See, I use this on off days as well, though. I, you're going to laugh at me, okay? But I am going to put that there as well. <laughs> this is going well, isn't it? Um, yeah, that can go in there. And this Insta Perfect thing from Essence can go back. I won't use that for a while. Oh, that's a good... Oh, no, right, I'm, I'm doing... I'm distracted. Uh, right, cheek products. Let's have a look at what's going on in here. What are you doing? Eating a book still. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right, so things I definitely want to keep in here are... Um, well, first of all, that doesn't live in there. That can go away. But what do I want to keep in here? Um, oh, that doesn't live in here either. I'm going to keep these cream blushes just because I do like a cream blush on kind of like a day if I'm in a little bit of a hurry and these are nice like wintry shades. Same goes for the cream highlighter because it's the only time of year that I use it. I do absolutely love this NYX blusher. Um, but I'm not going to keep that in here because I've been using it for days now. This contour stick from Collection has been discontinued. And I don't know why because the tone of it was so gorgeous. I loved it. 
Um, this Phys Physician's Formula bronzer can go in there because it's new and I'm playing around with it. Um, the Balm Merry Luminizer Thing palette, that can stay out. I'll pop that in the side in a minute. I was playing around with this Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette, which I do really like, but maybe I can't open it with one hand. Yeah, maybe I'll open something else. Hello! Aha! Aha to you too! Hello! Do you want me to retrieve your... Oh no, you've still got a sharky look. Let's play with sharky for a minute. Oh, oh sharky. <laughs> um, then this bronzer can go back into the drawer. And the Anastasia contour kit can go back into the drawer. I'll pick something else. So those can go there for a minute. Let's see what else we can grab. So the blushes I've decided to change things up for are this one from what well, I don't even know what this brand is. You know, I'll have to I'll have to let you know. Um, this Avon one, one of the Max Factor Cream Puff, I think they're called. This Nars one in Outlaw and the Clinique Cheek Pop in Berry Pop, which I love those ones. I'm gonna put this Clarins blush back, but. Um, I absolutely adore this blush. I wear it so much. Um, it's in the shade Golden Robes. Golden Pink, sorry. It's so gorgeous. I love that blush. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. I just wear it low. Then for kind of bronzing options, I'm going to say the Body Shop Honey Bronzer is always a good call. Um, and this NYC bronzer, which is in the shade Sunny, which I always go back to in the winter. However... Um, I think it's been discontinued, but and then the Urban Decay Shapeshifter palette is a contouring option. You're probably like you are insane. You do not need this many options, and um, you are correct. I just like them. Right, I'm doing everything one-handed now because I'm holding it. Um, but this is like my everyday slash sort of eye products kind of section which always ends up overflowing and annoying so i do need to kind of descale this there probably isn't too much for me to change up in here it's more just getting rid of stuff that i'm not using currently so let's do that quickly so this section um it's just my everyday stuff and eye stuff i could do with another little pot to put the eye stuff in but i haven't got one to hand so i'm gonna have to look for one um i'm sure i've, I've got something somewhere i'll because <laughs> she's all cuddling me um yeah so that's that and then we'll just sort out the lip section but in here I've got like my kind of concealer -y type things, mascaras um, and my day products which are all just cream eyeshadows um, and some little pots of cream eyeshadow there as well. So lip product wise what I've done now is I've just streamlined it a little bit. We've got um, Super Cindy from MAC, Velvet Teddy, Craving from MAC, Please Me from MAC. Um, oh, what are these two? One's Craving, Twig wigs this fab colour. Um, this Clarins product which I'm testing, just a few little bits. I am testing a few other bits and bobs actually but um, they're all in my purse downstairs at the moment. It's not going to work is it? Um, I'll put that out here maybe. Or maybe what I'll do is with these hair care products, they can all lie down because it'll look slightly neater, ever so slightly. Um, and the, the other stuff can move along maybe that might be the way to go oh, I don't know I'll figure it out in a minute um yeah that's probably the best bet that we've got what's this a little perfume sample from what is it those are those are all that's quite nice actually so yeah there we go that's better I need to give everything a little wipe down as well because it's all a little bit dirty and messy but I just <laughs> time you know as you can tell. So I have just come down to make this little girl some lunch. She's got some leftovers from her dinner last night, which is some mashed potato with um, like sauteed garlicky mushrooms. She loves mushrooms. Um, it's one of her absolute favorite things. So yeah, I thought that was kind of an interesting little thing. And because she's got like, she's got two teeth at the bottom, but they've just come through. She, she still can't chew loads of stuff. Um, so like if you give her like you know bread or something she can't tear a piece off so it's a bit pointless even if you give it to a small it just i don't know i just don't think it works very well so um i'm still giving her like slightly softer textures 
um, and that seems to be working okay. She's being very well behaved, touch wood, in this high chair. Usually she's an absolute nightmare in the high chair. She hates it. She, um, she's a really, really good eater. She loves food, but she really doesn't like sitting in the high chair for some reason. And she starts doing that thing with her arms, which means she wants you to get her out. So I just try and ignore it and carry on feeding her. You put them funny faces. Hello. <laughs> her little outfit today as well is really cute. It's like a little mini mouse dungarees dress from Tesco's. Um, she's in her six to nine month clothes now, which is quite, quite sad, really. <laughs> She'll be eight months old tomorrow, actually. So we have um, finished Lola Bear's lunch. We FaceTimed my dad as well, um, which is, it's such a weird thing at the moment because my dad has actually never seen her in person because she was born at the beginning of COVID. Um, he wasn't able to travel over from Israel because you'd obviously have to self-isolate for two weeks here, self-isolate there, going back. People can't be away from work that long. Um, so it's just such a weird, weird situation. So we just FaceTime every day instead at the moment. Um, but she ate all of her lunch and she was surprisingly all right in the chair. She didn't have a strop until the end, actually. It's absolutely pissing it down outside though. So I'm gonna wait a little bit and then we'll go for a little stroll to the restaurant. Mummy will have a coffee at the restaurant. No, you can't have the camera. Um, yeah, I'll have a coffee and I'll do a few bits that I need to do. She wants to hold it. No, nope. I'm gonna pop her down to play on the mat in a minute and I'll go and sit and play with her as well. But I'll just clear up her dinner stuff first, I think. If she lets me. She doesn't, she's like extremely clingy these days. <laughs> so I've just come in. Um, I won't film myself because I got caught in the rain and my hair looks like an absolute spaniel. I look bizarre. <laughs> but um, I ended up having to wander around <laughs> For half an hour before I got there because she fell asleep just as I was approaching the restaurant and she wakes up straight away if you stop moving the buggy so that was the whole thing um but I just wanted to show you the bits I grabbed from Super Drink it's really annoying because I couldn't film in there because I had a mask on and you couldn't hear anything it was too muffled but they've actually got some really interesting bits because I was waiting for her to like have a sleep I had a proper mooch but I picked the super booster vitamin c up that Nadine Bagot recommends so We'll see how that um, works for me. And the facial spritz as well, because I was nearly out of the vitamin E one that I'm using. And they're just cheap and cheerful. So I'm really looking forward to see what this is like. Um, I'm gonna feed Lola now as well, and then put her in the bath and do bedtime and stuff. Um, she's having this like chickpea curry kind of thing that I made yesterday. So that looks quite nice. Um, and, oh man, I meant to buy some cucumber. I forgot, anyway, um, but yeah. So I'm going to go and do that and then I'll speak to you in a bit. <laughs> so I've just got um, Lola down <laughs> for, um, well I say for the night, but like, you know, put to bed at night. Um, and I am going to just have a quick little tidy up around the house. It's a bit later than I'd like, but I'm just going to whiz around and just tidy a few things up. I'm going to do the Christmas tree and that tomorrow. So I just want to get a few things organised first. Um, I meant to say as well, I don't know if I said earlier, when I was walking around Super Drug, sorry, my makeup was absolutely just buggered. Lola also scratched me here. I'm sure not intentionally, but yeah, because it was raining so much, like on me pretty much the whole way. Um, that's attractive, isn't it? I really need to go and have a bath. Um, yeah, I, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> Forgot it now. In Super Drug, it was really interesting. Like they had so many products in there that were really, really interesting products. Like kind of like um K beauty brand and that kind of thing like they had DHC in there all of a sudden they had had a labo and it was just nice to see them in store um I had a, a really good little mooch actually but like I said I couldn't film because I had a mask on and you couldn't hear anything um so yeah I'm gonna have a quick tidy and then I will jump in the bath and then I'll get in bed and read a bit of my book I'm trying to kind of do that a little bit more now um i've got i'm a celeb and record and i've been just watching it like when i wake up in the morning like when i'm in bed with Lola and i'll be feeding her her milk and stuff i'll chuck it on then because usually i just put the news on so i'll just put that on more cheerful than the news um <laughs> and i um also just ordered a steam mop on amazon because i decided that i needed one not a steam mop a spray mop um I also was going to say um, about the um, 
skincare bits that I got. I actually had an email from Domatica asking if they could like give, give me a free subscription. So I said yes, because I had actually been interested in doing that myself. I just hadn't gotten around to it. And I thought it could be a good like review thing to kind of talk about like pigmentation and open pores and stuff. Because my skin's being really, really dodgy at the moment. I think it's like a hormonal thing with like going on the pill again and like post baby and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah. But let me go and kind of spruce the house up a little bit, make myself feel a bit more organised. Good morning everyone, it is Wednesday today and we've just both gotten dressed. Lola's dressed, she's wearing this really cute little like lounge set from Tesco's and it's got little pom pommy things on it, it's really quite cute. And she's got a headband on for now, we'll see how long the headband thing lasts. Um, and I managed to get dressed as well. Paul's had to nip out to... Um, <coughs> go to the police station to sign a statement because we had this woman who um came in and said she was collecting raffles so it was like a local um like really sad thing that had happened and she was collecting family she was collecting raffle prizes for this family so we donated um a meal voucher and then the same woman came in and claimed it and said that she'd gotten it for her birthday but the person that was working obviously like just accepted the voucher they didn't think anything of it um it wasn't until paul happened to come in just as this woman was leaving where he clocked that it was the same woman and um yeah so we um we spoke to a few other sort of businesses around and it turns out she'd been doing this to all businesses like in the area and like people had given her cash donations and stuff and she hadn't given them to the family so um yeah he's had to go and give a statement to the police about that but um it's so so horrible outside i don't know if you can see you can't really see it is so rainy and wet and windy and horrible so um me and my sister <laughs> me and my sister were meant to go to some shops but i don't think we will now um well she's gone to do a few shops and i was going to go and meet her with the buggy and stuff but i don't want to go out in this it was enough for me yesterday so um yeah i got up this morning i um I caught up on last night's Simon Stiller like, while I was giving Lola her breakfast and stuff and then I made a sausage and bean kind of casserole thing in a slow cooker for um, Paul Sweet later on. I'm a very nice girlfriend like that. I don't know why I did that actually because he annoyed me tremendously afterwards this morning by just getting ready too leisurely for my liking while I was trying to get ready and get Lola ready. You know how men do that? That. Um, so yeah. What are you doing? Um, but I've assembled the Christmas tree, we'll put the lights on it and I need to find some missing Christmas decorations that I've got that I do not know where on earth they could have gone. Um, I don't know why I'm talking to you, like not. <laughs> I don't know where on earth they could have gone, so yeah, we'll see. Um, it's actually the 18th today, which means that Lola Bear is eight months old today. You were born today, eight months ago. We would have been in the hospital doing the induction thing this time eight months ago do you care no um yeah so that's that's that um but i uh, what am i gonna go and do oh i'm gonna go and just sort out a few things in the bedroom um, and i'll see you all Sure. so it's much later now sorry it, it was a bit of a eventful day i had stuff going on that i was trying to do and just emails and whatever but we're starting the tree now i did manage to find the decorations that i was missing as well lola's having a little play with her aunties good morning guys um so <laughs> it would appear that it was an absolute vlogging fail yesterday um i didn't even get to finish the vlog full disclosure i had a bit of a crap day yesterday um i just i had some restaurant stuff going on that i really needed to sort out and i had to speak to hmrc about some of it and it was just it was just one of those days it was really stressful and by the end of it i just kind of tidied up and just went to bed i, I wasn't in the mood um so i'm gonna end the vlog today instead i hope you don't mind um and what have I got planned for today? I'm gonna, oh, I put Lola down for a nap at half nine, um, but um, usually she wakes up after about half an hour. She hasn't done, she's been asleep for nearly an hour now. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe we need to do that kind of transition to two naps a day instead of three. But the thing is, um, 
her naps are still somewhat unpredictable but I do I have been really watching her wake time um, this week and I think that's made a massive difference in kind of her napping a bit better so we'll see how that goes um, if her wake time if her wake times are a bit better um, like a bit better managed then hopefully I can kind of solve that because sometimes it just gets to a point where I'm struggling to fit that third nap in and it's a bit uh, and then her bedtime's a bit later and it's all a bit all over the place um so we'll see but um we when she wakes up from her nap um we'll get dressed and stuff and I'm gonna meet a friend for coffee um it feels weird sort of saying about doing stuff because I know everyone in England's in lockdown and you're not doing any of this stuff and we only had two weeks of it which I don't particularly agree with I think we should have had longer um but that is what it is I guess um but yeah so I hope you enjoyed this vlog um apologies if you found it a little bit boring it will kind of I'll get into it a bit more um but I might vlog on Saturday because I have got to work in the evening um we didn't there wasn't enough cover for various reasons people have stuff going on <coughs> so I'm gonna work in the evening <coughs> <coughs> sorry um but that means that my mum has to have Lola because obviously Paul will be at work as well um so then what will happen um is when we um, drop her at my mum's in the morning, because um, that'll be the only time when we'll be able to drop her off, then I am gonna try and film the gift guide video. We'll have a little chat about that in that video. I'll film the gift guide video, hopefully I can get it edited and all ready for Sunday, and then, fingers crossed, that I'm not overstretching myself with stuff to do. I'm gonna just put some hand cream on because my hands are really dry. Um, I'm gonna, it's just the Neutrogena one. Um, I'm gonna attempt, to get my Christmas wrapping done. I haven't actually got that much to wrap this year. Predominantly low lift, everybody else have kind of massively downscaled because I just thought it was time for that really. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you're all having a good week anyway and I will see you all very soon. Bye. It's my parting gift to you, sorry. I just realized I never showed you the tree. Um, so this is the tree. Annoyingly, it's a little bit too high to go into the wind, the bay bit, which, really is annoying but um yeah there we go I need to just sort out a few bits down there with the cables and stuff but I love it I just love having a Christmas tree out um I've got really some really special decorations as well so like this one here for example would belongs to my grandmother she always used to have this on her tree um so I've got that one which I love um I've got where is it? There's, oh, here. The little pram, which I got um, when I was pregnant last Christmas. Um, that lipstick one. <laughs> but where's the other? I've got another lipstick one. Oh, this one that I kind of bought in honor of my grandma. Um, yeah, just lots of kind of really sentimental ones. And I think it does look really, really pretty. So yeah, um, I will leave you with that Christmassy spirit.